What's going on guys, it's Wingman Plus, and in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to one of the most savage clips I have ever seen on TikTok. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm your go-to source for hilarious, entertaining, and helpful online dating content. So if you haven't yet, make sure you pound that like button and hit subscribe. So I'm in Mexico right now, and my TikTok for you page basically converted to all Spanish videos. And I've gotta say, this account, Hot Spanish, is one of the most savage accounts I've ever seen on TikTok. This guy does a lot of challenges, but there's one in particular that is absolutely insane. He goes up to couples and offers them like a few thousand pesos if they will each spend one minute in paradise with an absolute dime piece of the opposite gender. So he has like a really hot girl, a really hot guy. He'll go up to couples and like loyalty test them in public and it is absolutely crazy. So in this video, it starts with, you know, this girl pulling her boyfriend out of the car. He was not able to last a minute. She couldn't handle the jealousy. So he found this new couple and they actually accepted the offer. Now, as you can see, like her, the boyfriend is not into it all. He's like extremely, extremely uncomfortable. But the girlfriend's like, please baby, should we? Like everyone's cheering, you know, how bad could it be? And she basically like pressures him into it. And he's like, okay, fine. And you could just tell like, she's so excited. And basically hot Spanish is like, look, we're gonna cheer him up. Why don't we just let him go first? That way, you know, he's, he can be less stressed out here. He's like, okay, fine. So he's getting into the back of the car now. And, uh, He's like, how long do I have to do this? And they're basically like, look, you only have to go in there for a minute. And the girl says, I'm very fast. It like touches him and he like pushes her hand off. He's just super uncomfortable. And basically the girl's like, hey, I'm giving you my permission, like go for it. All the guys in the crowd are just shouting like, bro, take advantage of it. Like, you know, this is your moment. And they're like, cheer up, cheer up, buddy. Like, you know, she's super down with it. You should be down with it too. It's not a big deal. So this guy's just very uncomfortable. So he gets in the back of the car and she basically goes on to explain like, Yesterday I dreamed that we came here and we ran into you and it's crazy like my dream came true like how crazy is that now meanwhile in the car girl starting to hit on him he's like oh this is really really weird uh, she's like relax I just want to give you a kiss he's like no I don't want to kiss you um, like maybe I can give you a hug instead she says okay so he gives her a hug guys keeping it super platonic meanwhile girlfriend is talking about like oh my god imagine we met hot Spanish and here we are and we saw you and it was like a dream come true and now you're offering us money like this is so exciting it's so fun so she's like a huge fan she's obviously seen this show before and she says that they've actually been in a relationship for two years and she basically says like oh for me a kiss is nothing if i don't feel anything i can just handle you know kissing another guy and he says look i feel a little bit strange um i, I don't really want to do this and she's like really pressuring him like going for the kiss and he's just like really backing away and he's like no 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 I'm not into it at all. He's like really just brushing her off. I almost feel bad for the girl in the back of the car because she's really putting herself out there and just getting rejected brutally here. But I also feel bad for the guy in the car because like he doesn't want to be there either. Honestly, it's like a super uncomfortable situation for just everyone involved, except for the girlfriend. She seems to be absolutely enjoying it. And the girl's like, look, you're fine. And the guy says, I really didn't want to do this. You know, I, I didn't want to take advantage of this. It's not right. And she says, you're nervous. Well, like, how long have you been dating? So she becomes this guy's therapist in the back of the car and uh, he's just super uncomfortable. And here comes the countdown, you know, three, two, one, looks like they're gonna open the door on them. Looks like his minute in heaven is over and he ended up unscathed with no kiss and remained loyal to his girlfriend. And as you can see, he's, he's not proud of himself. He just feels gross for even being in that car in the first place. And meanwhile, Giga Chad is standing behind him, just ready to absolutely make out with his girlfriend, which is absolutely hilarious. Um, but he said, nope, I didn't cheat, I was loyal. And she looks at her boyfriend, he gives her the nod of approval. She gives him her purse so she can, you know, have a little bit more mobility in the back seat. And she walks into the taxi with Giga Chad. And what you'll probably notice is that Giga Chad is absolutely dressed to the nines. He looks really fresh, he's got a fresh fade, he's got cool clothes on, and guys, Girls care about first impressions. Like if you're going on first dates and you're not optimizing your outfit, your wardrobe isn't up to par, 
you're not gonna get second dates. Women are really into aesthetics and they want a guy who looks like he can put an outfit together and dress well. That's why I've partnered with the sponsor of this video, Edge Lifestyle. Edge Lifestyle is your go-to source for everything from apparel to gym clothing to leisure wear. Everything they sell is insanely high quality, super stylish and extremely comfortable. I've been rocking Edge outfits on all of my first dates lately and I am getting a 100% second date rate. And why am I getting all these second dates? Well, in addition to being an absolutely incredible guy, I really attribute it to the fact that I just look super fresh on all these dates because I'm rocking Edge. So if you guys are trying to level up your wardrobe in 2023, go check out Edge Lifestyle. I put a link to it down in the description of this video and use code WINGMAN for 10% off. Okay, now back to the video. Baby girl's literally in the back of the car with Giga Chad. And as you can see, she's like, she's pretty stoked. This is like her big opportunity. She says, well, I can't stop you, right? The guy says, no, nothing you can do about it now. And just like that, they start making out. He starts asking like, hey, what, what are you gonna do? Would you leave her? And the guy who just made out with the girl before is like, hey man, you gotta take advantage of that situation. So he made out with the girl right before um, and got slapped and broken up with over it. And this guy says, you know, my relationship's worth more than a few hundred dollars. Now the crowd starts counting down. They're about to let her out, out of the taxi and you can just see how upset he is. And Giga Chad's absolutely smiling, walks out of the taxi, washes off his mouth from all the saliva of this guy's girlfriend. She comes out and uh, let's see her reaction here. Oh, she looks she looks very happy. She says, nothing happened. All, she's all quiet. And she, they ask, do you think your relationship could be affected by this? And she says, no, I think we're gonna talk about it, but it shouldn't be affected. And the guy's like, just, yeah, it's whatever. He just wants to get out of there. He's probably so embarrassed right now. And just like that, she gets the money, uh, you know, a few thousand pesos. I think it's like 2,000 pesos each. They try to offer the guy money too. They're like, look, man, we feel bad. Here's some money. He doesn't even want it. He's just so disgusted with this whole situation. You know, he was loyal. He went first. And then baby girl just absolutely took advantage of the minute in paradise. And uh, it's just hard not to feel bad for the guy in this situation. This video went insanely viral in Latin America. And it's obvious why. This guy was clearly uncomfortable about this thing from the beginning. But rather than listening to him, his girl was like, look, you know what, we gotta do this. It's gonna be a really good time. She's making like any excuse to get in the back of the car with Giga Chad. Meanwhile, when the boyfriend went into the car, you can see how like disgusted he was with himself for even being in this situation. I'm super curious as to like where their relationship goes. But if the boyfriend is watching this video, buddy, I've been there. I've been in a situation where I was dating a girl and I felt like she was out of my league and I would let her walk all over me. And I found myself in situations where loyalty was being tested and she failed those tests too. I know how bad this hurts. And I'm just hoping the boyfriend in this video kind of sees the situation that he's in, sees that it's unhealthy and just leaves. Because like after how loyal he was and how good of a man he was in the back of that car, the guy deserves way better. And honestly, this whole situation could have been avoided if he just had a bigger pool of options to choose from when he was looking for a girlfriend. In 2023, dating apps are the best dating strategy for men. If you have a properly optimized profile and know your way around a texting conversation, you should easily be able to pull three new dates without even leaving your room. So I hope this guy figures it out, leaves her, and just takes some time to heal. Like that, that can really suck going through a breakup that difficult, especially with how humiliating that probably is being on the internet. But every villain has an origin story. I think we all just witnessed this guy's origin story. What do you guys think about the scenario? Was he overreacting? Was the girl right? Was he wrong? Would you have taken advantage of the minute? Let me know down in the comments below. Pound that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.